Are you planning a road trip and you want to plan out the directions, the distance, the stops, and even share it with a friend? Well, today we're going to show you how to plan a road trip with Google Maps. It's really easy to do and it's free. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Explorer. And we bring you videos on travel, exploring, and discovery. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and jump over to my computer, get right into Google Maps, and show you how to plan that road trip. All right, so here we are on my computer. If you haven't used Google Maps before, the website is maps.google.com. You can do a quick search for it in your browser. I'll put a link below to their website in the description so you can easily find it. Now, once it's loaded up, it's gonna look something like this. And there's some cool features in here. Um, if you go to the bottom here, you can click on this satellite button and it'll give you satellite view. You can also look at the terrain you want to see the traffic you can click on that and you can see what the traffic looks like I can turn that off as well um, transit etc those are all cool features for the purposes of this video I'm going to leave it on map view I just did want you to know that is there now let's go ahead and plan a quick road trip let's pretend we're going to be driving from Seattle I'm here in Kelowna British Columbia Canada but let's pretend we're going to be driving from Seattle so I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse I can scroll out and in and zoom in and out here so we're going to actually, um, I'm going to hold down the mouse button and I can drag over on the map and find Seattle. So let's pretend we're starting our road trip in Seattle. We're going to drive down to California and we're just going to go ahead and click on Seattle. Or you could go ahead and punch in your address up here if, that wanted, if you wanted that to be your starting point or you can select something. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Seattle and it's going to load up and the cool thing that happens is it gives you a whole bunch of information on the city so you can see even the weather shows up here the actual time so if you're switching time zones um, a whole bunch of quick facts hotels photos etc but i want to go ahead and click this button right here that says directions it's a um, little kind of arrow there that says directions on the left hand side we can go ahead and select that and it's going to add it to our directions for our trip so this blue area will be um, where we can see the places that we'd like to stop at. Now you can see it actually added it as the second stop in our trip um, because it thinks I'm not in Seattle right now. So I wanna just click on these arrows here and it's gonna put it right at the beginning, just like that. So it thinks now that we're starting in Seattle and going to other destinations from here. So we've got our Seattle in there. We're gonna start out our road trip and maybe we are looking for a hotel. We know we wanna drive a little bit further in the first day. Maybe we want to get all the way down to Sacramento. So we're going to start scrolling down to Sacramento. We'll go through Portland, Eugene, Medford, Redding. Here's Sacramento. And we're not sure where we want to stay. So maybe we want to, um, maybe we've already booked a hotel. You could just go ahead and type in the address here. But maybe for this one, we're not sure where we'd like to stay. And you remember that there is... Um, some cool things you want to see in the Vacaville area. I know there's an outlet in this area. So let's go ahead and click on Vacaville. And again, it's going to give us the directions to Vacaville, but maybe we still need to figure out a hotel we'd like to stay at. So we could actually um, click on hotels here at the top. So when you click on a different city, more options do come up and we can just go ahead and click on hotels, gas, rest stops, etc. Key tip for a road tripper for you. If you click on rest stops, this is a really cool feature. Look at all the rest stops that show up. So if you need to know where those are, that's a great option to turn on the rest stop so you can see where they are. Um, I love that feature. All right, so back here, we're gonna go back to Vacaville. I'm just gonna hit back actually. Um, there we go. Keep zooming out. Um, so once we're in Vacaville, we're just gonna click on hotels here and all the hotels in that area are gonna show up. Again, like I said, every time you click on something, it zooms out so you can see everything but we're gonna zoom in here and maybe we want to shop at this outlet mall here so we're gonna see there's a hotel here the super 8 there's the Hampton Inn oh the Hampton Inn looks nice we can go ahead and click on that and it's gonna show us more information on that that hotel I mean it even shows you the pricing from different websites there which is really cool but I want to add that as a stop so I'm just gonna click on add stop here and it's gonna add it right into our timeline here so what I'm gonna do I'll scroll back in here maybe I don't actually need Vacaville 
in here anymore because we know it's taking us to the the hotel. So I'm going to actually remove Vacaville on its own and it's going to just take us directly to that hotel. So that would be our first stop. Now you can see there's the outlet mall there. Now one cool thing in this area, one of my favorite things is the Jelly Belly factory. So we're going to just go ahead and click on add a destination here. And we're going to type in Jelly Belly factory. Um, I just can start typing it. I know it's this one on Jelly Belly Lane. Uh, we're going to click on that. And again, it's going to add that to our road trip right there. Perfect stop, a fun place for the kids if you are driving through this area near Vacaville. All right, so we've got that all sorted out. Let's say we want to go to San Francisco. We can just start typing in San Francisco here. We can visit San Francisco. And again, every time you do this, it does jump out. Now, the cool thing that happens here is it starts giving you the time for your road trip here on the left hand side. So you can see 12 hours and 46 minutes. It's got 810 miles. And if I click on details here, it actually gives you the details for each of your, your legs of the trip. So you can see the first one is from Seattle to um, the Hampton Inn there. It's 11 hours and 42 minutes. That's gonna be a long day of driving, 753 miles. And then it's only 14 minutes from there to the Jelly Belly factory. And then from there, another um, 49 minutes to San Francisco. So um, you can easily plan that out right there as well. Now, once we're down there, maybe we're gonna go from San Francisco. Let's add a destination. So we'll add San Jose here. That's gonna add that to our destination. Now, from here, maybe we're not sure exactly where we wanna go. We wanna go to California. We wanna go maybe to Disneyland. We can actually start zooming in here again. And let's say we want to go to Disneyland. We can actually find it right here. We'll click on Disneyland. Again, we can see all our information. We're gonna add that as a stop. Um, let's say we wanna to go to San Diego. I'll add that one as well. Maybe we wanna to go to the San Diego Zoo. Let's add that. Perfect. And I'm gonna finish off my loop here and then we'll kind of get into some of the other features which are, are really cool as well. So let's add Las Vegas. Maybe we're taking the long way home. We'll click on that. And then let's say we wanna go through Reno, Reno, Nevada. And then we're gonna add back to Seattle here. Just like that. So now we've got our full road trip planned out. Now, a couple of different things here. You can see that maybe um, maybe we wanna change our destination here and you'll see all these little white dots on our, on our um, map here. And I can actually change the destination or the way we drive. So maybe we wanna change an organ on the way back that we go through Bend. I can actually take this dot and move it over to Bend and you can see it changed our, our route. So um, now it went through Bend all the way up to Portland. And maybe here we want to change this where we take a quick detour over to Tillamook to the cheese factory on the way down. So it's gonna, you can adjust how the route looks by just dragging on these little white dots on your map, just like that. So now we have our perfect road trip planned out. We can see that it's 47 minutes long, or 47 hours, whoa, 47 minutes, and 2,906 miles long. And again, you can continue to add these in here. One thing I should mention is if you're wanting to change the order of these over here on the left, you can actually drag them. So maybe I wanted to go to um, San Diego Zoo before Disneyland, I could just drag and drop it like that, which wouldn't make sense. Um, but if they do go in in the wrong order, you can move them around just like that. Or if you wanna delete something, you can just hover next to it and click on one of these X's. Now, a couple other things I do wanna show you. If you click on options over here, it will allow you to um, add some route options so you can avoid highways, tolls, and ferries. So maybe we wanna avoid toll roads. You can click that on and it'll avoid the toll ro roads for you. The other thing is you can change your distance unit. So if you want miles, kilometers, or leave it on automatic, you can change that right there. I'm gonna turn on miles just for this one. And then we'll just go ahead and hit close. Now, when we have a look at this, you can see that it's gonna bring up all the information for our route. If I double click on this, it's gonna load up the full list of directions, which is super handy to have this printed off. 
and it shows you the distance and miles for each of the segments of our trip and it tells you the roads to turn off on. Up here at the top, you can actually click this button right here. And if I click on that, it's gonna share it to my phone. If you have Google Maps on your phone, you can click on that. The other cool option is you can click on share here, um, this button right here, and it's gonna give you a link. So if I copy this link right there, I just click on copy link. Um, let me open up another incognito window and put that link in there. So you can share this link with your friends. Maybe you're taking a road trip with someone. They can just um, use this link and load up the exact route as well. And they can make changes in here if they'd like to as well. So it's super handy that way. Now, one thing I'd, I'd recommend is saving a copy of this link so you can easily load it back up because it doesn't save it in Google Maps. So make sure you keep a copy of that link. Just copy it into um, a Google Doc document or into a Word document so you do have it. So that's super handy. Others can have a look at the map right there. Um, you can share it on Facebook and Twitter. You could even embed a map if you wanted to. We're not gonna get into that today. The other interesting thing here is you can actually click on the printer button here. If I click on that, you can print including the map or print text only. So if you do have a printer, this is super handy if you're traveling, just click on print including map. It's gonna give you a printable option of the map itself and all the instructions for your entire trip um, right below that. So this comes in super handy if you're um, needing to print your, your itinerary and where you're going. And even all of the um, addresses, so the Hampton Inn, for example, the address of that shows up here all in one document. Just staple that together, throw it in your car, and that'll be super handy when you're driving around on your road trip. And really it's that simple to plan a road trip here in Google Maps. You can find the directions, the distances, the stops, and even share it and print it for your trip. So I hope this video was able to help you plan your road trip in Google Maps. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.